and the illegal sport got the thumbs up on an East Tennessee track tonight, and it also won praise from a mother who lost her daughter to street racing. Good evening, I'm John Becker. Robin is off tonight. Street racing is illegal, but it often doesn't stop young people from speeding through towns, putting themselves and others at risk. Tonight, 10 News reporter Brittany Bailey takes you to the 411 dragway in Seymour, where no one wanted to put the brakes on the racers. It's a thrill that lasts just seconds, but to some, is irresistible. And these races don't always happen where they should. Young men often turn public streets into racetracks illegally. Adrenaline's adrenaline, whether you get it here or on the street. And hopefully we can show them that, that this is just as good as that. Rob Noakes lost his co-worker, Knox County Assistant Chief Deputy Keith Lyon, to a street racer last year. And we call talk about, you know, the bad guys with the guns, but nobody wants to talk to them about the ones with the cars. That's why Noakes and his wife are starting teasers for teens educated against street racing. They want young people to seek their thrills safely. When I see them go down this track and I see that they reach to, you know, 80, 90, 108 miles per hour, I have to remember that my daughter was hit at about 90 miles an hour and she was virtually sitting still. Watching these races stirs painful memories for Kimberly Stennett. Her 18-year-old daughter, Tabitha Helton, was killed nearly four years ago. Street racing is illegal. It is a crime. It's not a game. It's a crime. But while it may be difficult to watch, Stinnett is here, hoping these races drive a message home. There is a reality behind this that, you know, it, it doesn't always end in just the thrill. Sometimes it ends in you take someone's life. Brittany Bailey, 10 News. Teaser plans to go to local schools and educate teens about the dangers of street racing. Next spring, the group plans to hold races at the track every month. The I